it's time for a haul. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Chloe, you're watching Puppy Ever After, and today I'm gonna show y'all what I got on my trip to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So today, Marshalls and TJ Maxx opened back up from being closed from the coronavirus, and today they were allowing people to come in and shop as long as everyone maintained social distancing, wore their face masks, all that fun stuff. So basically today I woke up around nine o'clock and I made sure that I was in line ready to go as soon as the doors opened. So first I'm gonna show y'all what I got at Marshalls. So there are a few things that I wanted to share with you guys that I wasn't going to be able to buy, but I still wanted to tell you guys what they were, what the prices were, all that fun stuff. I can't afford to buy every Lily item in the store, so that's why I did that. But I will share with you guys what I did get to buy and some of the things that I saw but did not purchase. So first off, I'm gonna start with my little haul and then I'm gonna show you guys the videos throughout the store and what all I saw. So starting with Marshalls, the first thing that we got was a Kate Spade case. It fits the iPhone 8, 7, and 6S. It's actually for my mom. She wanted it for her phone. They had ones that were XS, X, but nothing in my phone case size, which is an XR. So that was a little disappointing because they were such a good deal. So this case was on sale, marked down for $6. Now I have my receipt with me so I can share with you guys what the purchase price was originally, what the retail price was, and then what I paid for it. So at, at Marshall's, the retail for this So at Marshalls, this was going to be $15. If you, you bought it directly at retail from Kate Spade, it was going to be $40. I purchased it for $6. So we saved $34 retail and $9 um, from their original sale price. So because I had so much overstock, a lot of stuff was marked down. So this was $6, super cute Kate Spade phone case. Next, we're going to go to something Southern Tide we found. So these were actually for my mom. They are Southern Tide shorts. They're super cute. I really wish they had them in my size because they were such a good deal. And they look super cute with your Simply Southern, Lily Pulitzer. They're just super cute beachy shorts. Um, they are retail $65 and we paid 15. So these shorts actually were marked $20, but the red tags, which was the sale prices, was $15. And they're super cute. Southern Tide is a great brand. Um, very preppy, came with extra buttons and our little Southern Tide tag. So that was a great find. Saved $50 from retail. So that's insane. Next, we're going to get into the Too Faced. So we actually found some Too Faced makeup. It wasn't marked down anymore on a sale price, but if you have ever seen the prices of Too Faced makeup at Ulta, Sephora, wherever, compared to the prices they sell it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, it's definitely a deal. So this is the Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo. Um, this one's also for my mom. She was looking for some blush, looking for something, and we found this. Here is what it looks like out of the casing. It is called Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in Papaya Pop. If you were to buy this at Ulta or Sephora, it would have costed you $30. At Marshalls, we got it for $10. So it's in great condition and you have to check because sometimes they get a little messed up um, because people will open them and mess them up. But it's in great condition, brand new. We've got our little blush and bronzer, highlight shimmy. And it smells like papaya. When we were in the store, we had our face masks on, so we couldn't smell them, but it smells so good. I love Too Faced. So yeah, great find. $10 was um, not marked down any more than that, but still $10 for a $30 um, item is a great deal. And now we're gonna get into our Lily. So today's outfit that I wore out shopping was my Lily Rock the Dock in purple lilac verbena 
with a pair of white shorts and I matched them with my new Jack Rogers that I shared in my video from yesterday. So if you haven't seen that, I suggest checking that out. You can see that right here. So as far as Lily goes, Marshalls definitely had less Lily than TJ Maxx did, but Marshalls had better deals on their Lily. So I'm gonna insert some videos of the Lily rack that we saw at TJ Maxx, which was super big, so much Lily but it was just a little too overpriced in my opinion to still pay for a Lily. So if the price went down a little more, I might have considered, but Marshalls had great deals. So the first thing I got was this Luxletic sports bra. It is the pattern Slat House Soiree, Soiree, Soiree. Um, it's a Jadia, Jadia sports bra. And it was um, $58 retail. So here it is, super cute. I love the lilac on the back, mesh, um, great material, great quality. I love the print, super cute. I actually saw it here before and I was thinking about getting it, but it wasn't marked down. So I'm glad that I bought it now that it's gone even cheaper. So they originally wanted $25 really wasn't that bad but I marked it down to 20 so saving the extra five dollars was great so a 58 retail price for 20 such a bargain and if I can come across the leggings for this I'm definitely going to get them so they can match and maybe I might be motivated to work out maybe <laughs> okay so that's the first thing I got the next thing was this cute pair and I actually tried these on before at Marshall's but I didn't buy them and now that they're on sale, I'm so glad I got them. So they have pockets. That's super cute. Did not realize that. They have pockets. Um, they're a little tie band right here. These are the, if I can find the tag. These are the Katia shorts in fresh citrus keep palm engineered short. They are an extra, extra small and they were originally $78. Too much. So I'm so glad that I got them on sale because $78 is a lot for a pair of shorts, but Marshall's had them at $30 and then marked them down even more. So the sale price was $20. So I got these super cute pair of $78 Lily Poulter shorts for 20 bucks. I'm so excited to wear them. They're super cute. So that was my next find. And this last Lily Pulitzer item we got was for my sister, but I'm still gonna share it because I just wanna share with you guys what all kinds of deals we got today and she couldn't be with us when we were shopping. So here's what we got. So these are Lily Pulitzer Blue Haven, oh, forgive me. Blue Haven Little Flamenco in Chrissy short. And they're so cute, they're like a beach short. So you can tie them right here. They have pockets also. Um, super cute throw over bathing suit wear them to the beach out boat day really adorable they were originally $58 but they were $30 at Marshall's and then they marked those even down further so the sale price we got them for was 20 bucks so I totaled it up and the retail price for all the stuff we got was $330. Our final price we spent was $91. Wow, we saved so much. I love sale shopping. It is the best. So that's what I got from Marshalls. We did go to TJ Maxx. Like I said, they did not have as great sales, but they had a lot more Lily. So I'll share some of the stuff I saw with you guys. Um, some of the stuff they had the same from the store. So this first lots, dress was a Southern Tide dress for $20 and it was an extra small. This next dress was a Lily Pulitzer that was originally 80 and marked down to 60. So these are some of the shorts that I saw. The yellow pair was also Lily Pulitzer and they were also marked down to $20. However, I preferred the ones that were more of a print to them. The yellow ones were kind of plain and just had white on them. So I slowed it down so you could see, um, that was just a pile of clothes that I bought, and you saw those previously in the video. These were a pair of lily pants that I saw, and I actually considered buying them, but I ended up not getting them. They were originally $40, but then marked down to $32. 
So these were another pair of pants that I found that I really liked. And they also had these in my size. They were super cute, but I just wasn't sure and I wasn't able to try them on at the moment because all the dressing rooms were closed. They were $50, um, but they were marked down to $40. And now we get into the Lily Pulitzer bathing suits that I saw at Marshall's. These were all priced the same, which was $60. They were then marked down to $44, which was not a bad deal. However, I prefer a two-piece, so I did not buy any. This one was actually my favorite, if I was to buy one. So, super cute. Still a pretty decent deal, but $44 is still kind of a lot for a bathing suit, personally, I would say. But still cute. The last thing at Marshalls we looked at was some of their makeup. They had tons and tons of Too Faced stuff. So when I went to TJ Maxx, this was the rack they had. This entire rack was Lily Pulitzer. However, I slowed it down so you could try to get an idea of what all they had, but I didn't want to hog the entire rack because there were many other people trying to look too, and I was trying to also maintain social distancing. So these are what they had. Still a little too high, but I feel as if they took the prices down a little more, I would definitely go back and buy something. I also saw these Jack Rogers at TJ Maxx, which is surprising because we never get Jack Rogers, and they were on sale for such a good price, they were only $18. Um, no one in my family really wears an 8.5, my mom tried them because she's a 9, but they still were a little bit narrow, so we ended up passing them up, but still such a great deal. But yeah, go check out TJ Maxx, go check out your Marshalls, they have great Lily stuff. If you guys want me to make a video that's TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Preppy Girls Guide, let me know because I will definitely make that for you guys. Share my tips and tricks for finding the best outfits at the best prices. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and all the cute Lily Pulitzer finds and all the great stuff that I got at Marshalls. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, let me know what you like. If you have found anything great at your TJ Maxx or Marshalls, leave a comment below. I want to know what you guys are finding too, because I'm sure the stuff at my Marshalls and TJ Maxx can be totally different from what they're selling at yours. So with that being said, I love you all and have a blessed day.